Hey guys, welcome to Protocol Dust Point. Okay, so this is the sixth part of our series on creating S3 bucket-like service by making use of Node.js. Okay, so in this part, we are going to learn how to create buckets in Node.js project by making use of FX library. So FX library is a library that will uh, give you access to work with system files. Okay, so we are going uh, going to create a files by making use of API. So for this, I'm going to create an API route through which a user will be able to give a name to a folder that he want to create. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so here is my project. So in the route folder, I will create one more file and name it as, I can name it as similar to s3.route.js. Okay, so in this file, I'm going to create APIs uh, that will perform various tasks like creating a folder, getting all the list of folder, uh, getting list of files in a particular folder, deleting a folder, downloading a files from a particular folder. So these are the things that will be done in this files. Okay, uh, so let me do it one by one in different videos. So in this part, we are going to learn about how to create folder in uh, Node.js project. Okay, so let's get started so here first of all we need to import a library uh, that is fx library so you can just import it something like this okay with this we also need to import a uh, express router so what i will do is i will just go to this file and let me take whatever i need okay and paste it over here so here from express library i am importing routers uh, function Okay, so with this, I will be able to create route in this folder. So let me create the API route. Okay, so I will, and I will just name this API as create bucket. Okay, so this is the API route I have created. Okay, and here I can add a middleware where I am going to check if the user is uh, authorized to use this service or no okay so in my previous tutorial i have created a middleware through which uh, i will be checking if the api passed by the user is valid or no okay all i need to do is i just need to call this function in this file okay so for that here i just need to import this auth middleware okay and now here auth dot user middleware okay so now whenever this function is been used this api is been used first of all this function will get executed and if the user is authorized to use our service then he will be navigated to this function okay uh, now let's create a bucket by making use of request okay so for this i need to get a folder name that the user is willing to create so i will get the user folder name from body folder name okay and here i will just check if the folder name is passed by the user or no just for a validation okay so if it does not exist then i just need to return response back to our front end or to the user Okay, so if user name here uh, folder name is not been passed by the user, then I will just show a message to the user that uh, folder name is mandatory. Okay, okay. So now to create a folder, you can just uh, give a location where you want to create a user folder. Okay, and uh, what I will do is uh, for this tutorial, I will just create a folder over in this folder itself so that it will be easy for me to show the folder being created when this API is been hitted. Okay, so what I will do is I will just create a folder over here, something like this. So I will just name it as root folder. Okay, and in this folder, uh, the user desired folder name folder will get created inside this root folder. Okay, so I will just delete this folder. Okay, so everything I need to do it programmatically. Okay, so I was, I was just showing you how the folder will get created. Okay, so here root folder okay so root folder name i will just name it as root folder const uh, folder path is equal to uh, dollar root folder slash the folder name that the user is willing to create 
okay so this one okay so inside the root folder this folder will get created okay so now here uh, i need to add a try and catch block okay so inside catch i will just print the error if any error has been found okay and now here in okay try block here i need to check if root folder exists or no okay so if a root folder exists then i need to create i need to only create this uh, the folder that the user want to create inside inside the root folder else okay and else if a root folder do not exist then i need to create a root folder also and with that i need to also create the folder that a user want to create okay so to check if the root folder exists in the uh, project or no uh, i can make use of fx library okay so fx dot exist sync and here you just need to pass the root folder name and now here if root folder exists then this statement will get executed okay and now here i need to also check if uh, the folder that a user want to create uh, is been already exist in this root folder or no okay so i can do the same thing sync and i can just make use of uh, folder path okay so if the use uh, root does not exist then i need to create it so to create it what i can make use of is fx dot make mkdir sync with uh, folder path okay okay so now after uh, successfully creating a folder inside root folder i want to show a proper message to the user okay that a user that the folder has been created okay so i will just do it like this okay and i just need to change this uh, bucket created okay and now let's go to else statement so else statement is if root folder does not exist then i need to create the root folder also okay so here okay so i can just do it like this i think so bucket created okay and now if both this condition does not ex execute so here is a slight changes uh, what i will do is i will just create a root folder first and then if uh, this folder do not exist then i i will just create the folder that a user want to create and then i will just give a response back to the user that bucket has been created okay and if both the condition do not match means if uh, folder exists both the folder exist then i just need to give a response to the user that uh, bucket already exists okay so now let's check this api if it is working or no in our postman okay so i will just run this okay yeah okay I, so I just forgot one thing i need to export this uh, route so module dot export route okay and in app.js i need to import it so that i can make use of the api okay okay so now i will run this project okay so running on port 3000 mongodb connected okay uh, now let's me open postman okay so here i will just uh, give my api name that is create folder create bucket okay so with this i need to also pass my uh, user api key because uh, i need to author authenticate the user to access our service okay so api key i got from mongodb so in my previous uh, tutorial i have shown that okay so this is the api key that i am just passing over here okay and now in body tag we need to pass a folder name in the json format okay so i'm just giving the folder name as subfolder1 so folder name is the key and this is the value okay so if i open my project okay so body dot uh, response request dot body dot folder name so this is the key okay so i will just hit submit and let's check okay so you can see bucket got created so let me check my project okay so you can see inside root folder there is a subfolder being created okay so i can just pass 
folder 2 and you can see over here okay so i'm just pressing and you can see folder 2 got created okay so that's all for this video tutorial this is how you can create folder by making use of node.js fx library okay so in our next tutorial we are going to list out all the folders that are in this uh, root folder okay so for that i will just create one more route over here which will list out all the folders in the root folder okay so that's all for this video tutorial thanks for watching please do subscribe protocol as point thank you